Yes, boys, welcome back to Midrich Magic. Today, we have the end of champs and the rewards. We have an icon player pick. And as you can see, my cam spot is open because we pack someone who starts in cam for us for now. But I've only really played two games with him, so I'm not too sure about him. But he is in the cam position, so I'll leave you guys to think or predict who it's going to be. He is not a natural cam, but it is a secondary position, so I'm going to leave it as that. And he plays left centre forward for us. Basically the double striker with Di Natale. So I'm just going to leave you guys with that information. Um, yep, yeah, so just champs, some rewards, just a load of packs. He had the 383 times 10s in this, I believe, as well. A load of champs, packs, rewards, and everything like that. Uh, if you guys want to follow my TikTok, it's just Twitch, Kai-1057. I think if you search up Kai-1057, it should come up. Uh, post a few videos on there as well. Trying to get the followers up. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Trying to get that up as well. I'm going to start posting some YouTube shorts probably to try and boost myself a bit further. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. Just consider subscribing, liking the video, sharing around as I do post daily, and I hope you enjoy the video. And it's live. Champs time for us. We were 4-1 in the first five games. You guys saw that. So we're hoping for 9 to get the red pick. And of course, 11 is our natural finish every single week. So let's aim for that. We had, uh, I'd say, a good weekend. It wasn't the best. But... I felt like I was cooking this weekend. I was doing very well in terms of how I was playing. Obviously, the record isn't great, as you will see at some points throughout the video. I think the best we go is like 6-1. and one, But in terms of how I was playing, I played so well. I didn't play boring football. I was, I was cooking them a lot. I don't know what Edison is doing there. And he red times a header and still gets the goal. But that's not going to be too much of a problem because... You'll see at the end of the game why. But yeah, as I was saying, to, like this weekend, Lee, I was cooking. Mudrick was cooking as well. I don't, I don't understand why people don't rate Mudrick. Yeah, I've, I haven't used Ronaldinho and stuff in this game, but Mudrick is good. For the price he comes in at, and the fact that I can still get away with using him, and you're going to see later on, there's a game where he absolutely crushes it insane but Blanc wins this header in the 46th minute he probably wouldn't if it was any other minute if I'm being honest but that's 4-2 to us uh, petition for EA to give Cole a new game face because what is that game face he's never looked like that ever I feel like that's it's a bit of racism going on there with how they've made him look but hey we ain't we ain't going to throw anything out there but this guy makes it 4-3 with his Bobby Charlton and that cross and goal, what on earth is that? I've never seen that cross ever work. But it's 4-4. Mudrick there. Di Natale on the sweat. It's a goal. It's 5-4. He pauses it. Oh, I think I paused actually to make some subs. My bad. Sterling saved. Di Natale, 6-4. And we want to make him salty. Chuck a gritty on his head. I wouldn't have grittied if I didn't see him pause. Because no, my luck, he would have come back. There you go, we're 5 and 1 in this one. Going into this game. Look at this, by the way. Put on the PSG third kit, the black, this black one. Very nice. Midrick. Goals. Oh, I don't get it. I don't get how I can still use him and everyone calls him bad. Like, that's why I've done a series around him. I didn't expect him to last this long, to be honest. And I need him to because he do not really do much in real life. So I highly doubt he's going to get a card. But it's just how we like we played so patient build up this weekend. We get another goal here with Mudrick and he's gone. He's out of there. That's you know, it's six and one. We're cooking. We're doing well. Obviously, you know I don't show my losses, I only show the wins. If you would like to see the losses, then let me know just to see how I concede in a sense, or how I put up or put up a fight when I lose I don't know I don't know if you guys want to see the losses it just seems a bit boring we get jammy there with Mudrick but I, I don't I don't understand why you want to see losses I'm guessing you just want to see the wins 
just let me know if I'm wrong in that sense. And Mudrick plays a good ball here to Zidane and he sent Van Dijk right into his fullback and he's just gone again at 1-0. Simple. I was outclassing him in those 12 minutes though. He was getting cooked. He was getting like absolutely battered. This guy though, R9 up front. Not what you want to see. But Di Natale, bang, finesse. He is my king on this game. He is my king. I couldn't, even if he was eligible for the hero Eva, I couldn't put him in because he's a red pick. So, nearly shot myself in the foot with that, but he can't fit in, so I'm happy. But he, he doesn't need the Evo. Come on. Right, we're a few games down now, as you can see. Nine and six. Nine and six. You saw, like, the seventh and the eighth win. You haven't seen none of the losses. I went from, like, six and one to, like, seven and three. To like eight and four, and then like nine and six. It, it it was a struggle. It wasn't a great weekend, but how we performed on the pitch and the games we won, and even the games we lost, we played well. Just most of the games, they were like I was. I'm I'm, I'm out teamed every single game. You know what I mean? Like I don't have the Eusebios, the Ronaldos, the Zidans. I mean, I have Zidane, but so many people have the ninety-five one off the market, and I don't know how. But yeah, that guy got cooked there. His defence is sent. And again, it's Di Natale that scores. Figo as well. I have the red pick. I want you guys to let me know who to use the red pick on. Just tell me in the comments. Or anything. I just need... Who should I use it on? Anyone. I'm open for anyone in the starting eleven to put it on. Sterling there. Not sure how that's a penalty. Right, I want to. I want you guys to watch this penalty. I couldn't tell you what in the physics happened here with this penalty. I was absolutely smash it with Dina Tarly, but look, like, look at the. I've never seen that in my life. I, it looked like it hit the direct corner bit on the crossbar and the post and just flew sideways. I'm not entirely sure to be honest. As you can see, we are ten and six. We lost our pre. We lost the game after that. And then we have this game, which obviously I said we only show wins, so it's a spoiler. We do get 11 wins. And fun fact, we played this guy earlier in Foot Champs and we lost 2-1. And now we play him this time and look, we're about to call this Mudrick's Masterclass instead of Mudrick's Magic. Here, Mudrick, one goal. Third minute, straight up, Mudrick one. Figo to Mudrick again, goal. Five minutes in, Mudrick has two goals. Fifteen minutes, Zizou to Mudrick. Goal. Three goals for Mudrick in 15 minutes. And it doesn't stop there. Figo yet again to Mudrick. Goes to cut it back, intercepted. It's a lucky goal, but Mud nevertheless, Mudrick still had a hat-trick in 15 minutes. And he's got four in 20 minutes. And then we cut all the way to the 65th. Where this guy scores his first goal. He he was absolutely terrible at the start. And then we play the rest of the game. And he comes out of shell. I don't know where the penalty is in that, by the way. I'm not even salty. I'm just honestly no clue where the penalty is. But he does put it away with his Alex Morgan. So the audacity to chip it down the middle is crazy. But we do get 11 wins this weekend, League. 11 secured. We go and give those other two games away. Don't worry. We're not toxic in this community. No free wins this weekend though. And still got 11. For anyone that thought that I couldn't get 11 without free wins. I'm telling you different mate. Because I'm still getting 11 wins. Through Team of the Year for the champs. Through Road to the Final. Got 11 all year. 9 and 11 wins all year. So I'm not having none of it. I'm, I'm alright at this game. I know how to play this game. But we have a few objectives. We have 17 and 18. That's level 17 and 18. Sorry. Claimed 50k and an 84 times 5. And there we go. The red pick Evo. Please let me know who to use it on. For me, I want to use it on Figo. He is quality. You saw in that last game, he literally assisted all four goals. Like, he is incredible. He's so instrumental for our team. But this is the untradeable 50k pack, which you saw us claiming objectives. 
when you get an 83, it's just tragic, really, isn't it? We just got you because we're, we're not a save everything type of guy. It doesn't matter. Now we got the untradeable 84 times 5 from the levels as well. I was just trying to get the untradeables out of the way. Because, you know what I mean? You always open untradeables first, tradables after. At least that's what I do anyway. And we get an in from there, and that is going to help us craft the 83 times 10. We're going to go for our campaign mix bag here. And it's a Ultimate Dynasties, I believe. The brother and sister and brother and brother promo. Got Leroy Sane's brother, I'm guessing it is. Cousin, brother. Probably his brother. Um, so, terrible campaign pick, as always. I'm get a German left back. Not even a, a board from that one. Not even 83+. plus. That is horrible. We go for an Ultimate pack. Still no promo cards. American goalie. It's not even a walkout. From Houston Dash. It's the goalkeeper. 84 rated Campbell. And not even anything in the back of the pack there. We just chuck them all on the trade pile. Get them gone. Into the club. And then an 85 double. Argentina striker. Lautaro Martinez is going to be a double. No. From an 85 times two, not a double walkout. But with this fodder, we go and do an SBC of the icon pick. And I did tell you guys that this person plays Cam and it's not his first position. So let me know who, leave a prediction who I picked, who you think I picked. I was having a look at Sanchez's stat. I was stat revealing this at the time. This clip was about five minutes long, but I did like cut it down, obviously, to me looking through the stats and then me picking it because I was stat revealing it by myself. Just put a cover over the screen and stat revealing it. I accidentally skipped Alan Shearer, so I was like, how have I got the same guy twice? But, yeah, I was being stupid. But we do go for Wayne Rooney. And I've used him, and he's all, He's okay. We've also crafted the 85 plus player pick. Get Coates in form. Co Coates, Coates. However, I'm not. I'm not a man of him. Don't really care what his name is to be honest. Couple 82 plus upgrades, but that Coates guy is leaked to have an SBC come out. So he's quite good. He's got 93 physical with like max strength and nearly max stamina. If they bump his agility and balance up, he could be quite a nice card. And he would fit in my team straight away, 3 chem, because I have a lot of icons. Uh, these 82 plus upgrades aren't the one. I recommend you to stay away from them. Unless you got something good and I was just unlucky. But I do recommend you stay away from these, because these were horrible. I've not seen worse packs, if I'm being honest with you. But Carver Howe, so 283s and an 82 from three of these. It's shocking. I feel like it is harder to get walkouts from smaller packs because of how many low rated cards there are because of obviously the women are in packs as well now. But we're in the store once again for one of the 83 times 10s. We get an inform. Argentina striker Lautaro Martinez and an inform of probably Coates. No, we get DeMarcos. DeMarcos inform. Very nice. Berardi as well. Obviously, we're just going to keep recycling. We've got an inform and some 83s. So, we're going to do another one. In we go. Open this one up. French. It's never Mbappe. It's Kunde. It's not ideal, but here's what it is. At least it's not all 83s. I've um, got to be happy for that one. And now we got the last of the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It's about a 15 minute video from what I can see. So please make sure to like, subscribe. And I'll be back with you with another one tomorrow. Of course, we daily upload. And that's how it is. That's all from me. Have a good day. See ya.